Over the past several videos, we learned about pre-rendering and the two forms of pre-rendering Next.js offers. Static generation and server-side rendering. We also learned how to fetch data in both the forms. We use the getStaticProps function for static generation and getServerSideProps function for server-side rendering. When building applications though, you might not always need to pre-render the data. For example, consider a user dashboard page. If you are a user on a blogging page, you probably need analytics like how many posts you have published, how many likes you have on those posts, how many followers you have, etc. Because such a dashboard page is private, that is behind a login screen, it is highly user specific and SEO is not relevant. So there is no need to pre-render the data. Instead, you can rely on client-side data fetching. In this video, let me go through a very simple example of client-side data fetching. Now to help us with some mock data, I've added another entry in db.json for our JSON server. We have an entry called dashboard, which has data on posts, likes, followers, and following. If you start the JSON server with the command yarn serve hyphen JSON and open the URL localhost port 4000 slash dashboard, you should see an API respond with the data we have just seen. Let's now make a request to this API and fetch data client side. Now, if you have fetched data in a React app before, it is exactly the same. In the pages folder, I'm going to create a new file called dashboard.js. Within the file, we define a component called dashboard. So function dashboard. Within the component, we need to fetch and store the data for rendering. So we'll make use of the state and effect hooks. At the top, import useState and useEffect from React. In the component, let's maintain two state variables, one as the loading indicator and one to store the fetched data. So you state the variable is called is loading. The set of function is set is loading and the initial value is true. You state again, the state variable is dashboard data. The setter function is set dashboard data and the initial value is null. Now we fetch our data in the effect hook. So use effect which accepts a function. And first we define the function which is going to make the API call. And this is an async function. So async function fetch dashboard data const response is equal to await fetch and the endpoint is localhost 4000 slash dashboard. Next, we convert the response to a JSON format. So await response.json. Once we have the data, we're going to call set dashboard data to update the state variable. We're also going to set is loading to false since the data has been fetched. After defining the function, we invoke it, fetch dashboard data. We're also going to pass in an empty dependency array since we want this function to run only when the component mounts. Finally, for the JSX, if the data is currently loading, so if is loading, we're going to return an h2 tag that says loading. If the data has loaded, we render it. So return, I'm gonna have a div tag as the wrapper, 
an h2 tag that says dashboard and then a few more h2 tags to render the individual properties so posts is dashboard data dot posts similarly we have likes which is dashboard data dot likes followers and finally following if we now save the file and start our app, so yarn dev, and navigate to localhost 3000 slash dashboard in the browser, we do get an error because we forgot to export the component. So export default dashboard, go back to the browser, and you should see the data as expected. If you preview the document though, we only see the loading text. So Next.js did pre-render the page since that is the default behavior. However, the pre-rendered page is based on the initial state of that component. In our dashboard page, ease loading is true to begin with, which implies the loading text is what is visible. Next.js doesn't wait for the API call and update this state of the component. So the page source will always contain the loading text and the data is never pre-rendered. So if you are creating a page that is private, does not need SEO and is user specific, client side data fetching is the way to go. This is especially handy when your page is split into components and you want to fetch data from the individual components and render them as and when the data is fetched rather than wait for the entire page data to be loaded. Components, unlike pages, cannot execute get static props or get server side props and hence client side data fetching is the only possibility. Now one last thing I would like to mention here is that I have shown you an example using the fetch API. However, you're not restricted to using this. You can also make use of Axios or any data fetching library that you're comfortable with. The cool thing is that the team behind Next.js created a React hooks library for data fetching called SWR. It is what the Next.js team recommends if you're fetching data on the client side. So let's give that a try in the next video.